Still Alive is a song featured in the 2007 video game Portal. It was composed and arranged by Jonathan Coulton and was performed by Ellen McLean, while portraying the Portal character GLA DOS. The song originated in a meeting between two Valve developers and Coulton about him writing a song for the company, which Coulton accepted as he was a fan of the Half-Life series. It is the end credits song, and plays after GLA DOS is defeated by Chell, with the lyrics suggesting that she is still alive. The song received significant praise for its humor and the quality of its performance. It has been featured in multiple venues, including at the 2009 Press Start Symphony of Games, a yearly Japanese concert event to showcase the musical works of video games. It was also featured as a free downloadable song for the rock band series, originally released on April 1, 2008. A re-recorded version, with Sarah Quinn on lead vocals, appears on Coulton's 2011 album Artificial Heart. The sequel to Portal, Portal 2, also ended with a song written by Coulton and sung by McLean called Want You Gone. History and Recording. The song Still Alive was written by Jonathan Coulton and performed by Ellen McLean for the Portal video game. McLean also provides the voice for GLA DOS, an artificial intelligence for the fictional Aperture Science Enrichment Center and the game's antagonist. Still Alive is sung from the perspective of GLA DOS and used as the song that runs over the game's credits. By the end of the game, Chell, the game's protagonist who has been misled and placed in life-threatening situations within the Aperture Science Enrichment Center, the setting of the game, by GLA DOS, will have finally encountered and defeated GLA DOS. However, the song and portions of post-credit scenes suggests that GLA DOS is still functional, and despite having been apparently destroyed by Chell, is not even angry at that prospect. Having considered the monitoring of Chell's performance through the test chambers as a huge success, regardless of the destruction caused by Chell and the Aperture Science handheld portal device being released into the outside world, for those that are still alive. The Combine invasion of Earth from the Half-Life series was also hinted in the song by GLA DOS. The song itself is also present as a Samba instrumental version through in-game radios at certain points within the game. Coulton got involved with Valve after two developers approached him following a concert in Seattle, Washington. They asked him if he would like to write music for the company, and because he was a fan of Half-Life, he immediately accepted. After discussing what they should do, he and the developers settled on working on Portal. By this point, a few months before the release of the Orange Box, Valve's writers had created a large amount of backstory for GLA DOS and other aspects of Portal which Coulton was able to use to write the lyrics. The overall process to complete the song took about six weeks. Coulton stated that GLA DOS's passive-aggressive nature, which he shared, made it difficult to get her voice out of his head. When asked why more video games don't end in song, Coulton stated that while movies have been well used to convey story, we're still learning how to do it in games. However, as the player has grown accustomed to GLA DOS by the end of the game, her singing is something that feels almost natural. The song's title suggests that GLA DOS is still alive after the events of Portal. Kim Swift explained that they chose to play this song during the ending so that players would leave the game happy. Reception McLean felt that Jonathan Coulton did a good job capturing GLA DOS with a song. IGN editor Ryan Geddes called it the best game-ending song of all time. In 2008, Coulton performed the song alongside Felicia Day at the Penny Arcade Expo, because he knew it was one of those things that would just make Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark S heads explode. The song was given the Best Original Vocal, Pop Song Award by the Game Audio Network Guild during their 2008 awards. The song was also performed at the 2009 Press Start Symphony of Games, a yearly Japanese concert event to showcase the musical works of video games. Still Alive is the first Western song to be performed at the show, which included a Japanese translation by Kazushige Nojima, a writer of several Final Fantasy games, and arrangement for the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra. Masahiro Sakurai, director of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, demonstrated the game to the audience prior to the performance, given the minimal exposure of Portal in Japan. 
Coulton experienced a surge in popularity after the release of Portal due to the song's release. It was later performed live by original singer Ellen McLean for the first time at Anime Midwest in Chicago. In the book The Art of Video Games, author Grant Taven has stated that while he was in hysterics by the song, he got the sense of artistic completion upon hearing it. 1UP.com's Alice Liang called the ending to Portal catchy, charming, surprising, and humorously bittersweet. On the eve of Portal 2 a Euro a Euro show Euro S release, Forbes editor David Ewart called the song surprising, funny, catchy, and unforgettable, and considered its opening line this was a triumph as a modern shibboleth. Carl Hilliard of Game Informer included the song in a list of other surprising musical numbers in video games. In other media, it was featured in the Orange Box original soundtrack released on Steam, containing both the original version and remix sung by Coulton himself. The song is also present in Valve Zombie themed Left 4 Dead 2, which can be selected to play on a jukebox in three different campaigns. Another Jonathan Coulton song, Re, Your Brains, is also present in the jukebox. The song is a popular cover and remix for user-generated content, such as on YouTube. In the Portal game mod Portal Prelude, a remix of Still Alive can be heard on several radios throughout the game, however, they are not performed by GLA DOS. The Valve owned website, www.aperturescience.com, features a Christmas themed remix of Still Alive, showing a moving image of the weighted companion cube with a Santa Claus hat and ended with a message reading Happy, holiday name here. A special Microsoft Windows port of the XBOX Live Arcade title, Chime, includes Still Alive as an additional music stage for the game. Equals in Rock Band Equals, Still Alive was featured as a downloadable song in multiple games in the Rock Band series, including Rock Band, Rock Band 2, and Rock Band Unplugged. It was included for free on the XBOX 360, Wii and PlayStation 3 to thank players for supporting the series. After complaints about Rock Band Unplugged a Euro a Euro show Euro S version not being free, this was rectified and anyone who paid for it had their money refunded. After a content pack for Rock Band was hacked, a list of songs purported to be included was released which included Still Alive. Jonathan Coulton and three others performed this song on Rock Band, announcing its presence in the title as a downloadable song. Coulton's version with Sarah Quinn, as appears on his album Artificial Heart, was later released through the Rock Band network as well. References External links, Still Alive at Jockopedia, the online Jonathan Coulton Encyclopedia, further clarifications on the song at jonathancoulton.com, Still Alive at Music Brian's.